Welcome to Tectonic Nights channel. Here's day 11 of solving easy lead code problems in Python. Today's problem is find target indices after sorting array. We are given an array and a target index. The task is to first sort the array in ascending order. Then we need to return a list of indices that point to the positions of target element in the sorted array. If the target element is not found, we must return an empty list. Essentially, if we locate the starting and ending indices of the target element, we can create a range of indices and return that list. The return list must also be sorted in ascending order. Now let's look at an example with a sorted array. In this case, the target value is 2. We'll use a binary search approach to solve this problem. We'll now try to find the first occurrence of the target or starting index of the range. First, we define our left and right pointers. Left pointer is at index 0 and right pointer is at last index of the array. We calculate the mid index, which is 2, and the value at mid is also 2. We have found the target. However, we need to ensure that this is the first occurrence of the target. To do that, we shift the right pointer to mid minus 1. Now the left pointer is still at index 0 and the right pointer has moved to index 1. We calculate the mid again, which is now 0 and the value at mid is 1. Since 1 is less than the target 2, we shift the left pointer to mid plus 1, which is index 1 and continue our search for the first occurrence of the target. Now the left pointer is at index 1 and the right pointer is also at index 1. The mid is 1 and the value at this index is 2. We have found the target again, but we still need to verify if it's the first occurrence. So we continue by shifting the right pointer to mid minus 1, which moves the right pointer to index 0. At this point, the left pointer is at index 1 and the right pointer is at index 0. Since the left pointer is greater than the right pointer, we know the search is complete. We exit the search and notice that the left pointer is now at the first occurrence of the target. Now let's consider this sorted array example and try to find the last occurrence of the target or the ending index of the range. We begin by initializing the left and right pointers. We calculate the mid index, which is 2, and the value at this mid is also 2. We have found the target but we need to find the last occurrence. To do this, we shift the left pointer to mid plus 1. We update the pointers and now we have found the target again. So we continue the search for the last occurrence by shifting the left pointer once more to mid plus 1. Now the mid is 4 and the value at mid is 5. Since it's greater than the target, we shift the right pointer to mid minus 1. Now the right pointer is at index 3. Since the left pointer is greater than the right pointer, we exit the search. At this point, the right pointer is at the last occurrence of the target value. So to conclude, we have three main cases to consider when updating the left and right pointers. First one is when we found the target. Then what if the value at mid is less than the target? What if the value at mid is greater than the target? For the second and third cases, we know that we should search the right subarray when the value at mid is less than the target. So we shift the left pointer to mid plus 1. If the value at mid is greater than the target, we know that we should search the left subarray. So we shift the right pointer to mid minus 1. Now for the first case, that is when we have found the target, to determine the first occurrence of the target, we continue shifting the right pointer to mid minus 1. And to find the last occurrence, we continue shifting the left pointer to mid plus 1. Now let's dive into the coding section. We begin by sorting the array. We define a binary search function with parameters for the target and a flag to find the first occurrence. We initialize left and right pointers. We also define a variable result and set it to minus 1 initially. This will store the position of the target if found. Next, we define the loop with a condition to perform binary search. In each iteration, we calculate the mid index. If the target is found at mid, we set the result variable to this position. Based on the first occurrence flag, we update the left and the right pointers. If the value at mid is less than the target, we adjust the left pointer. And if it's greater, we adjust the right pointer. To find the leftmost index, that is the first occurrence, we call the binary search function with the find first parameter set to true. If the target is not found, the function returns minus 1 and we return an empty list. 
Next, we call the binary search function again to find the rightmost index. That is the last occurrence of the target. Finally, we return a list containing the range of target indices. The time complexity here is O of n log n.